Hey guys, I'm really excited. I just got in my X-Tool D1 Air Assist for my X-Tool D1 laser engraver. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna try to show what's in the box. As you can see, I haven't opened it, so we'll be doing this all together. Uh, so I'm gonna show what's in the box, how to put it together, and then a before and an after with the laser engraver without Air Assist and with Air Assist. So I hope you guys find some benefit with this video. If you would, please just leave a like and a, a follow on my page on YouTube. And uh, I've also got some product descriptions in the bio below. So uh, if you found some benefit, please just like and follow. And then if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks and I hope you enjoy the video. Here is up close what the X-Tool Air Assist box looks like. The reason I bought the Air Assist is to help provide a steady flow of air to blow away the smoke and the residue uh, after I've made an engraving. Uh, this is supposed to help make the engravings more clear and remove some of the bad burn marks around the engravings. So when you first open up the box, you see the X-Tool Air Assist User Guide. This guide provides 29 pages of valuable information to help you set up your X-Tool Air Assist. It also says it in many different languages, so if you're bilingual or you don't speak English, you should have no problem with this. It also shows a lot of good pictures and step-by-step -step tutorials on how to set up your X-Tool Air Assist. The next thing you'll see in the box is a small, thin box that's holding all the parts and pieces of the Air Assist. So the first thing I'll pull out is the tube. This is what air flows through from the Air Assist module onto your laser engraver. Next up, they provide you with two air filters. These are used to help provide clean air in your Air Assist module. Next up is some of the other small parts and pieces. Included in this bag is the tube clamp, the nozzle connector, the screws, the silicone connecting tube, and the air pump connector. Then in the other little baggie, there are some hex keys and a few little screws. And that is everything that's included in the small box. Now onto some more hardware. Next is a metal nozzle. This will be used to put on the end of your laser engraver so that you can connect the air pump to your laser engraver. After that, you'll see an orange light shield this is to help protect your eyes from the harmful laser. Then here's the air pump module with a wrapped up cord in bubble wrap. This thing was a lot heavier than I expected and I noticed that there were springs on the feet of the air pump module to help dilute the vibration. And here are all the pieces laid out. Now on to the easy assembly. First I take the silicone connection tube and push it on the plastic cylinder that's sticking out of the side of the air assist. Make sure that it's on tight. Then I'll take the air pump connector and place it inside the silicone connection tube, like so. It's a little bit difficult, but just make sure you push it as far in as you can. And lastly, I'll take the tube piping and place it inside of the air pump connector. Just push it in as far as you can, and then give it a couple tugs to make sure that it won't come out. And that's all you have to do to connect the tubing to the air pump. Since I have an X-Tool D1 Pro, I don't need all the pieces that it gives me. First off for the tube clamp, I've already got that built into my laser engraver. So I just ran the tube through the tube clamp and pushed it into the nozzle connector. I also don't need the light shield, the nozzle connector, or the metal nozzle that they provide. And then here is the finished product. Next, I'll try to show what difference the air assist makes for a laser engraving. Here, I've got a small piece of blank wood that I'm gonna try to engrave a tree on. So I'm gonna do two different engravings. 
The first one is without the air assist. The image that I'm engraving usually would be a pair of earrings, but I've enlarged them to make them easier to see for this test. This engraving took about five minutes to complete, but I have it sped up here in the video, so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. I'm cutting the image using 100% power, six millimeters per second, and two passes. So here is the finished product. So far I can tell there's burning around the edges of the engraving where it's been cut. The inside engraving of the tree does not look too bad, but around the edges is where you can see the burn marks. And that's something I'm hoping this air assist will fix. Now let's try the engraving using the air assist. As before, I'm using the same image, the same size, and the same speed and power at 100% power and six millimeters per second. I'm also doing two passes. So let's see how it turns out. This is the first time I've used air assist. So just like you guys, this is the first time I've seen the finished product. I can already tell that the burn marks around the edges look a whole lot better. They might even be non-existent. So it looked like it cleanly cut through the piece of wood and it didn't leave any burn marks unlike the other engraving. The engraving of the tree turned out very nice and clean. Here's a comparison of the earring with laser assist and without laser assist. There's still a little burning on the back, but all in all, I like the way that it turned out. So you be the judge. Do you think it looks better with air assist here on the bottom or up top without air assist? You can definitely see more burn marks, so leave what you think down in the comments. I hope you found this video very beneficial. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I've also got some links in the video description below if you'd like to purchase an Air Assist, an X-Tool D1 Pro, or any other type of laser engraving material. Thanks for watching.